So you're looking to build a deck in Pokemon TCG Pocket. It's the main thing is obviously battling stuff is going to be your best chance. And as you go through some of the solos, we've only done a, a couple, like literally only a fair few of the starter builds. Uh, you're going to need different decks. That, that is number one. So if you go into the second option, you've got your binders, display boards and decks, depending on what level you are. And from there, what you want to do is click into decks. And as you can see, we've only got a couple. I really need to go ahead and sort these out. You can have up to 15 so what i would suggest as a very early player somebody that maybe hasn't played as much of the actual game in tcg pokemon you want to go into new build decks you can build from the theme decks so obviously if you go into here you might be able to see some others that you've got but you want to be going in to build a new deck first now obviously with this you can just then go ahead and click in we can do a few things like when you click the search button, we can obviously go and see favorites if we've got any, certain rarities, and then obviously certain types. So for instance, if I'm thinking, let's go ahead and build a lightning deck, what we can do from here is we can click OK, and this is going to give us all of our lightning Pokemon. Everybody that we've got that we can obviously utilize. Now, when it comes to building a deck, you definitely want to have a look at the abilities. You want to look at just, in general, the low end as well, because... You don't want to have too much high-end stuff because then you've still got to get some basic Pokemon out there. So obviously if we look at someone like Magneton, you can see they have got an ability there as well as they're needing four energies to make its attack. Whereas if we look at something like Pikachu, again, in a deck, fantastic. Like obviously one energy to do the 20 Gnaw and obviously we have got the EX version that requires two. That one is going to be a bit more of a special version. But also you want to be noticing that maybe... Do you choose him when you don't have a Raichu yet? Obviously looking at somebody like Voltor when you've got Electrobe's pretty good. And then if we go a bit further down, you've kind of got a fair few. And this is only going to get slightly easier as we get more sets into the pocket universe. Because obviously at the minute, there's a limit. There's only so many. So if you was obviously to go away from this and think, okay... I don't really want to make an electric one. I, I kind of need to for a very basic set, but realistically, I, I don't have to. So I'm going to go for something like Fire. Fire most definitely has got a fair few this time around, and obviously a few specials. So we're always going to go with a Charmander, Charizard, and kind of Charizard EX. Um, we'll put two of the Charmeleons in. I only have one Charmander, but then I do have one down here. You can only put two of one card in at a time so obviously say for instance i've got five of this one as you can see you can only put two in at a time um, again if you want to bring them out then all you've got to do is tap the icon and then we kind of have a look you've got the likes of moltres that's going to be a special one to get in so it's going to take a little bit more turns to be able to actually put that in we obviously then have a growlith and an arcanine always nice then we've obviously got nine tails which is always going to be a perfect one as well rapidash and then we've obviously got rapidash there as well from here then so now you say you've got a certain amount i don't know what the absolute perfect is amount of pokemon to have versus the trainers because then what you want to do is go ahead and go into your search and then you want to clear everything because then you need to find the trainers so they should be right at the bottom here because these are going to have certain effects as well when you look at blaine because we know he is obviously the fire um, gym leader. You obviously then have during this turn attacks used by Ninetales, Rapidash or Magma do 30 plus more damage. Always nice to have in the back pocket. They're kind of your extra bonus attacking XP but then if you kind of keep going down you have these. So you have put one basic uh, Pokemon in your deck in your hands. That's always a good one to have if you are struggling and don't have your specific Pokemon you wanted to start with. Especially if you're looking for bench Pokemon as well to swap in. We then have Pokemon Ocean. I only have one of them at the moment. Could do with having two of them just in case. We then also have two draw. This is going to be a fantastic one. You draw two cards and it could again just give you what you need. Uh, some of the others, you've obviously got your opponent shuffles their hand. You've obviously then got look at the top three of your deck so you can see and then your opponent reveals their hand so you can kind of be a bit sneaky with it. If you're going into more of an advanced battle, that's going to be fantastic. So from here, we then have finished all 20. So we'll obviously click OK. We can obviously go ahead and rename it. We really want. 
So if we wanted to just call that fire, nice and easy, then obviously you can change the deck box so we can change it to fire just to make it look a little bit better. You have got some accessories you can put in if you really want, it's just cosmetic stuff. And also when you put in certain Pokemon, they will give you the energies already. So say if I wanted to add in fighting and lightning for whatever reason, that is always possible, but it will already pick up on what you kind of need. The more variety you have in your deck, the harder it's going to be to actually get it. And that's why, realistically, if you're building a... Almost like a certain type of deck. Say you're doing like a one fire, one water, one grass. You will definitely need to have some colorless basic Pokemon in there. Because you don't want to be stuck without having an energy straight away. That's just something to start with. So I would suggest just going with a one theme deck to start with. And just going with that. We can obviously change the highlighted Pokemon if we wanted to. Uh, so say if you wanted to show off a little bit more, obviously we can go ahead and put in every one of the big ones in here. That's always possible. Once you've done that, you can save it. Then that is going to be saved under your decks uh, to get rid of them. Um, obviously, you've just got to click on them and you can just click the bin icon there. If we want to use these in battles. Now, this stumped me for a second because I went into solos. I went into here and I was like, okay, I needed a water deck. I'm like, how on earth do I do that? So I've gone in here and I'm like, well, where is it? If you tap on it, you can then go ahead and change. Click OK. And that is going to be your basic. Now, obviously, in the kind of lower battles, you can just autoplay if you know what you're doing. But I would suggest get the feeling of, of doing the cards and, and actually really doing what you kind of need to do um, in terms of actually battling. But that's all you got to do. That's how you use and also make a new deck in the Pokemon TCG Pocket.